Good evening, everyone. So we are here, uh, here for the pawn. How do you yourself for a little career at the end of college? Right? So what I want to do in this conversation mainly is draw your attention to a few things. I want to start off with looking at the landscape of the industry. And in the tech arena, and since computer science department, I'm going to largely focus on computer science and software engineering. There are a lot of things happening in tech. We duly, uh, I personally don't have the knowledge, so therefore cannot offer advice on those subject areas. Yes. Then I'll take those trends and make a connection with what we are doing at De Anza. And um, I'm at De Anza as a college. We are number one of area with our offerings in computer science. We are also been the one, or at least in the top five as a college in the country. So I knew that, but that leaves me proud because I work. I'm looking at what we can do at the end, so then we, can, then we should look at what you guys can do. I need to really start focusing, okay, I'm looking for a career. How should I apply for jobs? How should I write resume and all that, right? right. And I will provide in bullet, in actually all of these bullet points is my perspective. I know I don't carry any liability insurance. And opinions are only my opinions and not the answer's opinion. So, green as well. But there's stuff here. And there's uh, a lot of I put together as a win for the other project management curriculum. Um, if you guys are interested, then I'll pull up that, that slide or set on leadership. And if you attended one of the past sessions with me, I think yes, it's, it might be repetition, but it's good. Right? Well, it's good. So let me start with trends. See, you look at trends in technology, right? This is an opening statement. Okay? If you read this particular slide, you really see that technologies would continue to evolve over a period of time, providing growth in some areas. Server, it's mobile, it's full, it's this, it's that, right? The I guys is in for employability. It's nice those trends. And those change every five years. Right? We're talking about trends, what I presented will change. And it, it's much on a regular basis. Then go back and check. And more sources. We can do this homework yourself. So you don't have to come to these talks. You ought, you ought to be telling your friends and colleagues and family members. They are self sufficient in Editing their knowledge in the life for employability. So, now, high tech, you know, the dot com burst, and every so, every so years, five to seven years, we slow the growth. And, and comes an opportunity for what? Retooling yourself, going back and looking at yourself and saying, yeah, I have efficiency here and there, so therefore I should, you know, grow and grow. In this the dips and the rises that occur over a period of time help understand which technologies will dominate and which technologies will wither away. It's a lot of times, come, try to come up with new terms. You know, with the notion of cloud, and so came up with the idea of rain, because you have so many clouds, it will rain. So a soft, actually, if you Google it, it's a software architect. Right? It's the internet of things, the internet of everything, right? When you start hearing these buzzwords, do your, don't following a new trend because it's cool, but it's learn. And learning happens through journal, magazines, uh, meeting people, networking, and all. So, so the slogans provide you the opportunity to 
think about things that you should be doing. And you have a clear goal in your own mind. That you have this entire ecosystem where things are changing. But then you and using yourself and you use what's good to you. Because and so so I'm starting with that wider spectrum and then I'm gonna zoom in slowly. Okay, I want to look at this picture. <laughs> this is from pwcmoneytree.com. That's it. It's really useful for you guys. What I'm going to focus on here, right, is uh, the investment trends in software that this historical data is. And I want to I read all the numbers, but I just want to look at the bars, right? 2001. Bubble time. We go forward and we look at today, 2015. Guys, these are pretty good. What about that? We're going to have a dip, right? We don't have a crystal ball, but things now are pretty good. And what I'm to say to you is compare what time here yeah. happening, what in 99, 2001. And now, and what happened in between? Then we realized development is good. Then we said, okay, let's integrate web applications, and let, um, let's let's uh, you know create service-oriented architectures. The databases are really good, but databases we have aren't good enough. Pay LinkedIn, MySpace, all fabulous social networks that you love to use the problem of saving information. Americans are using that kind of information to find their voters. So when you do these trends, right, there is something coming out for the technologist, right? And there are, there are also, I'll just keep this in mind, that adoption of technologies occurs. It has to occur in Fortune 100 companies, then 500, then 1,000, and affected. I mean, government is not going to be deployed the latest and greatest immediately, right? We can't find our right politicians to lead us when trying to figure out technologies, and I won't talk about that tonight. You from the media that you don't need to talk to focus on that. So this is, again, my thinking. Because like this is, I like... Uh, then I like to analyze information, and then I like to come up with paths that are generic enough. What I tend to see around myself at least is, is that many languages. We have many tools, right? And we say we are going to keep writing applications. More languages, yes, in 5, 10, 15 years. Oh, you bet. There is a uh, program right? We're also continue continue to evolve. So we have languages and tools that aren't there. Yet. I love that because that is my job security. Right? Mm -hmm. and I have three courses in each, and there are thirty courses. Then I could teach those thirty courses and keep you in India for ten years. All my objective and goal, it's what the industry is doing. So, what can we be building, whether I have a what age it be, it doesn't matter. This is a job for everybody, right? And the first is find who you are and get to that job, right? If you have that, you haven't tried hard enough. Don't blame yourself. It's an outing question. It's an A plus question that's going to make you move. When you move, you move. That's what I believe. So. Now, back to it. 
we were building client server applications to bring mission to mobile applications, right? So the point where now we have an iOS platform and have million applications. And he's using five people use it. Okay. And according to the Gardner reports, there is a notion of citizen development that's coming around. Talking about fifth generation languages, where you can, without a ton of code, can generate an application, whether it's mobile platform or for the three platforms that we have talked about with your talks we have here on trends in emerging technology. A point, an apps point is you have tools to process data with e interfaces that can deliver smart to the point information anytime, anywhere. The point information is so important today. See for the twinkle thing, I look at nephew and that frame of reference in the family for me, right? I'm saying everyone, I'm just saying in general. Training, it seems to like that, hey, I'll get now, so therefore I'll send 6,000 text messages a month. You phone and talk to your friend? No. I want to, I want to get information right now. Right. The price has changed. It's too changed. Because we're so the generation of, of, of uh, Learners that are use gaming, but are sorry, adults. By the time they are done with high school, what do they have on their fingertips? Because it's the attention span. It it you know a game that is a result. You have to say the thing, the outcome. Rapid smart point information to process. E2 is for the coming generation. I'm not sure what my grandkids would like to hold and learn. But the picture is that it's only going to get faster. And that's to the rest of you that are in this room and others that may be listening to this down the road that you need to develop the skill to learn rapidly and forget. Where I have learned one language and for 30 years and have a retirement, this is a con. It is in your skill set, your ability to run, learn rapidly. So, we to do automation. Report industry say that the software that is written is only five to seven percent of what is actually needed. Some give out projects, and I say people come up with ideas, and they and I give them a list of 130 apps that have already been developed. Then they say, help us with some new ideas because we're out of ideas, because the ideas are taken up by those 130. I said, what about the million that are on Google Play? Can't you take new? Like you're ordering grocery for you. Grocery uh, delivered by Amazon.com. Delivery. Somebody reached out to me last week saying, I want an app so you can Java three times faster because instead of you're uh, going very slow in your class. I said, dude, it's my job security. Don't take that away. <laughs> well, wouldn't you happy if they could? I said, okay, sure. Let's look at what you do. Okay. Easy population, learning. And this one that I think about is when we our demographics at the end. Right? In the language. Still here. And sure, technical concepts in class. Yeah, be proficient in English, and you know, folks work on it. But what was the system where did whatever I'm saying on the fly in the native language through an automated tool, and it was really accurate? 
better than Google Translate. And they build applications on that ecosystem. What kind of risk are that? So we need in our own language, right? It's just like, you know, 35B people, we interfaces and we do data exchange, you know, we talk about that stuff. Implement the world. That slide is my favorite. And I've modeled over the last 15 years. That's your OSI model. This is my own uh, thing model. So I look at seven facts. Okay? Operate them. Networks. Getting systems are below in my picture. Operating systems are below the network. Data. Storage network. Databases. Apple connectivity or integration. Got Business to see. In this slide, I take my approach. Which one of these layers are at infancy and which ones are mature? So I'm going to get an earth shattering operating system out of Windows and Unix. It's not going to happen. The main operating system is cloud. Okay, so here is a hypervisor. Now you, you can leverage more hardware, usage, usage of more hardware and run multiple systems. It's a good year. VMware did a great job. Another company is not going to come around. Now, this is something that I will talk about. It gets really futuristic, and you will probably call me an idiot if I came up with this. But, and, you know, if, if I'm right, then call me a visionary, uh, but don't call me an idiot. I mean, it's not. Talk about technology. 2005. Uh, at the end, uh, at our, uh, we'd, we, uh, we'd, we got a small grant of around $75,000 to start uh, trends in nanotechnology. Mm -hmm. Nanotechnology would take off in the year 2018 and later. And there are certain assumptions about that because the chip revolution, the uh, you know, creation of uh, arms that will make nanochips, I think you applied material. Um, they, they make the ovens that make uh, semiconductor chips, right, for that. And um, if you make nano chips, they're really small, maybe they're invisible, and so it seems that they could be like dust particles on the internet, or on Earth, let's actually. I have a computer part, um, one, like the uh, Arduino board, just add Wi-Fi. That was a cool thing, right? I was like, yeah, excited. But imagine this: that if you could take the product, the memory, the storage, the network, the, all the components, and those are separate subsystems, and computer, the need to have a, a from the uh, from your mobile device, computer is assembled from the fly. That you and then the computer is gone. The processing power is gone. And these Google, what a waste of money. I spent $1,500 on that stupid product. It would be better to eat Kentucky Fried Chicken and okay. The thing what? Google as a device, right? So there is an presentation layer as well that will happen. With any, I mean, it's there today. Like any monitor, any uh, work can become your monitor. And a projector, right? There's a guy named Prono Mystery. He was at T-Labs. He currently works for Samsung. So their patents are there. We make a $5 computer. Those factors, new factors, are smart. We're going to change in its Computer. We are not going to have these computers. Our labs will have an article, and you will walk in with your device. In fact, you will not even you should even come to class to take a class. where I say I'm instructor, and you should be in my lecture, and only then you will understand why. Why? Why be in Tahiti? And you can watch, and you can relax, and you can record, and you can class members. You know, 
take both of paradigms, which is to information at any time, any place. That really resonates when you start thinking of future 20 years down the road. Now, you know, maybe you're boring us here, right? Because that got to do with me. I think that mission institutes take time to our new technology. Why? Limited budget, issues of spending your tax dollars. And we want to our platforms that are. You know, if you were to create a course in big data, okay, big data is, stab is stable enough, we should have a course on big data. Right? And take this class. This is huge. This is the word only for Trump. Excuse me. iOS is really big, right? So, iOS. The more we created a course in iOS, Apple says, new. Active C, no, no, Swift, right? So this is for us. Keep in this, think in this uh, terms of these layers, yeah. and of course Taco Bell with this. You guys know that. Sometimes <laughs> like so better than that. More using big data. The infrastructure. You also have social. I mean, Facebook, right? It's not a thing. I tell people all the time, you know, jokingly, I can, on the bottom right of the screen, I can see uh, if you are in, on Facebook in my class. Can you do that? I said, I'll shut down your computer if you stay on Facebook. So I think starting next year, what I want to do is, I want to say, guys, let's all go on Facebook. And let's working together on Facebook. Because what is the model? It's the model. It happens work in social terms. In isolation, why should it? So it's 3,000 friends and I you because it's been 50. And other than when I look at you, for example, you have 3,000 friends. I said, how the hell can you have 3,000? Then, I mean, Facebook friend is like almost a swear word then, right? But this is in the chat. Let's get 1995 when pages was a cool thing. I don't know if some of you remember. When I found my first job in the industry, I did in 93, and uh, building page, I was like a rock star with my resume, and they were like, wow. You know, C++, when you have a web page, we're going to hire you right now. So, to get hired at that time. Today, the way to get hired is have a app. And people are using it. Oh, this is sexy. We've we'll been here, right? This is of emerging trends. I'm going to draw your attention to one thing, which is that while this was a cool thing to create in 1995, I was like, whatever. Why? Because it became part of our, our today, right? Mom could, could go to tube and watch a video. I mean, that was a cool thing. 86. Yes, right? Friends come and go. Right? So it's now starting. The year Facebook was found. We have 1.6 billion people on Facebook and, and being added every day. Right? One is going to, when a child is born, it will be important that the child has a birth certificate and a Facebook account at the time of birth. Medics will be tracked on Facebook. And Old and the timeline, right? That you know just now. While that has become a social engagement of a sort, and starting to think about, or oh, don't want to be on Facebook, 
a value in having Facebook like applications in the enterprise? Are they links? So let me take you to Cisco for a day, for uh, a minute. I don't know anything about Cisco's internal, but I'm using them as a okay. Let's work a company that's hundred thousand people, whether we or Facebook or whichever, right? Enterprise applications are created. About. of application occurs across departments. Let's talk people that have PhDs and you know the organizational memory. The organizational memory. People know the organization and their intelligence to do smart things for the company. Who? Knows? So the question. Right? Most of us say, oh, I don't want to answer questions. I'm not going to publish my profile based on what I know. Who knows what? But in the that you have written, what if we could go through all of those and create an index of your expertise? Hey, you have this expertise. Can you answer a question on this? And then for answering those, those questions. See, now it's different. Like, look at Kaiser, right? right? Let's just, what are doctors? Uh, a 15 minute appointment, and I'll only solve one problem. Doctor, I have a neck problem and a leg problem. In this appointment, only the leg problem. We'll talk tomorrow. Schedule another appointment. How? Why? The whole functional medicine is missing in your state. That's why, you know, I, I solve one problem, I will, uh, that's how I get paid. Came around. And because you can answer email. Oh, I go to the doctor. I'm having a neck pain, this happened, that happened, right? So they're taking online. And doctor paid for another. So now they have. So this, what are you? Slow changes, right? Looking at, at ecosystems, technology is getting deployed. That's the notion of, we just call it business process. Geography has to change. If the location was to get was to emerging technology, is or change for so those right. Well, this is because these are opportunities for creating applications in the future. That's where we're going. I'll tell you about all the years, but what I tend to do is I'll tend to learn from, from history. My experience and conjectures on the history for the future. Now, Facebook type apps in enterprise guarantee will happen. Mobile app creation will increase. And I, I, I teach a course on Android development in another place. There could be OS in cars. So now you have products. There's OS and TV. There's you know, Android and mobile. There's uh, watches. I mean, all in a way in motion, right? At least are buying three three iPhones every month, paying thirty dollars for each one of those, and happy having all those those phones. There's a new iPhone coming out which has a tablet and a iPhone, you know, and a uh, thing together, and you are going to show that off, and you're going to stand in the queue. Front of the Apple Store. I mean, you're in the development. I mean, the companies are making these products are not innovating products, but man, is it a cash cow? And nothing for you. Can you come up with something like that and make that a cash cow for yourself? It's you. Just a matter of thinking of an app, putting away, okay, and iOS store and you're done. Right? It, it is that simple. If I look at the local school district, Ponte Vista, students from Vista are coming to the end, uh, I can count the folks on my two hands. It would probably had eight hands, then I could. Their own companies. Seven, 18 years old. Find it. Wow. To the point, say, where do I go to school? 
those are things that come up, right? Applicativity and integration. Start using SOAP, REST APIs to integrate applications. There's a lot of security that needs to happen in that. And when you guys start looking, researching IoT type things, well, there are there are newer middle or integration technologies coming around. I mean, word wireless because you know architects said mobile. Yeah, because mobile is information on the go. What refers to the infrastructure? Okay, lecture and for the next 10, 15 years, these frameworks are going to get much much better. Which, if we get president, the evolving, evolving the newer Wi-Fi, and that's where it starts. So then, like you guys, if you need to watch the trend, look at the second, third, fourth generation of wireless technologies and what happened in each. When seventh, eighth happens, then see what happens. What can you do? A lot of bandwidth. Which platform? Well, people are with new programs languages all the time. And for one thing, that Java is still around because that is a language I really, really like. And it has not been garbage collected. But garbage is a Java term also, by the way, guys. But emerging language platform, where you can have point and click interface, you know, citizen development and learn about this. Forms is an example of citizen development. Microsoft Excel is a form of citizen development. If you want to send out a survey, if you can use a mobile phone to create a survey and send it out, it is also an application. Right? Happens. But as below changes, the type of that need to be created will also change. So I have one app You're out of the gym, right? My new of, of, you know, trying to be. And, and app, this is what steps to your wall. Then they throw analytics in this. Oh, well, you know what? 20 more uh, minutes so you can be so and so. Wait a minute. Workout that I did. You forgot about that? You know? Like, you know, if I'm doing a bench press, where do I record that? Where can I sum total of all the calories expended in the rough strenuous workout that I did? And I feel so good, I want to go eat a turkey. And you know that? You get smart recommendation. The food. I can take chair and it says, ah, chicken curry. Three calories. How do you know? What is it? Water? Only curry. And no, how to get no. This is it's of information, right? These things will be part of what? Better systems that will emerge. That's all I'm trying to do. Only embedded devices. Oh, yeah. Internet of things, Internet of everything. And you see terms. But not for me, because it's around a long time. Ribbing devices is really sexy for me then yeah. as a product. And have smart agent that would put a software computer. So you're talking to, talk to This was a story I used to tell in 2005. Las Vegas is there. You get your fork. Right device, your your car, your car connect, and you want to compute something, and it's not, you're not going to have a connection, right? So a bunch of agents get together. He, he needs horsepower. The agents talking, right? Nano agents, horsepower of blah blah, eight to six gigs of RAM. He's trying to post a big video. Let's let's do it quickly. Then we can call somebody else. Oh, 
all forget about the driverless cars? I don't know. Five years. Yeah. But that is uh, 2020 India. Okay. See, guys, look at the Tasco Bell. Big data that is big. big. Do I need any more? Oh, something more. Plain application. Right? And have, say, 10 million people resume connecting every day. If someone was built 15 years back, we use Oracle. Or B2, would say, relational model, let's have a transactional system, then let's have a data warehouse, then let's transfer data from a transfer system to the data warehouse, then let's do association, and upload data after 24 hours. That's not big data. So, what does that That's Google's technology. Let the big table on what? Each computer can process for solving a problem. And that process can be all thousand computers. The mission of this century is map review. How's the capability of spreading one process thousand computers concurrently? Like if I wanted to just exemplify that quickly, if I wanted to count how many computers are in this lab, I could request each of you, a computer agent, I'm not calling you a computer, but, you know, just uh, an analogy. I would go to you and say, hey, go to one area and count how many computers, and we'll come back and do a summation. That's the reduce, because what he's doing is working on a data subset and then doing the computation and then, you know, coming it up. It's like... Uh, there was a project that I worked with during one of the consulting assignments called Cluster. Um, this is MapReduce. And this year, um, you know, they called the entire database a beehive. And there was you have the queen, the worker, the bee workers, right? That was it. So in the beehive, is that is orchestrating work, work. The, the one that's collecting the data and the work work it has taken analogy that is big data and like n cluster are used for myspace running myspace music business and mirrors in the industry suddenly acquired by teradata for 210 million dollars that's more of money in some context Paycheck is much bigger than that. So, talked about social cloud data mobile integration and also that. Employed. Is that now? No tech. Or 2035. Start looking at it. Start researching. Because that survive are the ones that act. What? No, that's all. is always there, right? You always have to innovate. So, so again, right? And time, from time, we look at this. And I always used to say to myself that, that God is doing enough. But I started looking this year on the talk, you know, building guest series and looking at the data. I'm pretty good. So my thought of, oh, we're not doing enough in the past. Because I, when I look at other colleges and what we have, we're doing great. Our, our student body, our vocation. My department is here. Mary, please hold me to truth. I come with this more than I do, so uh, I'm messing up somewhere. Jump in. I will also record. 
bandwidth. So in travel mode, you are interested in earning a degree in associates, and please do earn an associate if you're here for two years. Because a lot of come here, take the courses, and go. Go get a bachelor, right? And then you start a company, and you become a multimillionaire, and then you forget it. Because, oh, I just took some courses at the end. And no, no, take a degree. Then back as a guest speaker in our CIS lecture series. I mean, come on, right? Programs. In computer science, we have a business programming, network programming. I mean, book administration and information security. Yes, that are popular still, right? Now, it's worthwhile while going through understanding uh, computer science as a subject and core courses. It might be one or two more courses, and you might say, ah, I'll learn an associate. Like graduation every year. End of June, and it's lovely to see people there. Huh? That's what we get. <laughs> oh, <laughs> me. We put that on the agenda. System. So, so these programs are well fine. Trying to go into UC CSU system, folks, you're 80% there, and all you have to do is take a couple of courses, and you might. Ah, I have a degree. Then vocational. So, I look at what are the big areas that where we have some problems. I'm looking at this vocational piece from two aspects. I'm looking at it from the aspect of what we have and what's popular in the industry. Then I'm going to map out for you guys what are the jobs that information we accept. Right? So I'm set source, so you can go and check the source. So yeah, keep up, right? This information will change. Certificates for a popular language. Thing like uh, there is one of our colleagues, Kamran, talks about programming with big data. And courses are only on Coursera or other places. And uh, Claire, one of my colleagues, she has prepared a certificate in Python. Right. What does Python have to do with big data? What does our programming have to do with big data? This is our evolution right? for, for our student body. Okay. You need to use it. Now, in which platforms should you stay at the end and take all of them? Yeah, of course. Why not? Right. But this is fun. Language tools. Some type of hammer. Right? We have to use that hammer to build something constructive. That's how it's cut. Your E2 programming and when programming things here, we focus a lot on design. We want to we just don't want to make you expensive to type it. Right? Then I'll write the code. So sure. There are trees in India, China, and other places where that is from here. And these out companies make based on the design. Now, I've been in the Bay Area, a software engineer. What's the difference between a programmer and a software engineer? Programmer is an expensive typist. So, engineer is an expensive typist as designer. And if I Look at the way the, the basic classes are taught here. We say this of when use it. We are trying to tell you here's loop, which one, how you will use it, 
and here real world purposes. We're stemming at that level. Designer, and that is very important. Now, vocation folks, as you come into vocation, you're already working in some other area, and now you're trying to change lane. Well, you start from the beginning. Learn coming up to many careers that are happening right here in Silicon Valley, right? So, I'll talk how to do that. When I talk about what you can, what you should do, I was actually saying what you can do, but, but I said, I'm going to be very pedantic and say what you should do. So, I said, come carefully. Data and analytics. So, so this guy. In fact, LinkedIn profile says software guy. I think I'm going to change that to database guy because database is more than I like software. Data so, certificate, which is again you got traditional middleware. You've got big data. Okay, very competent. I'll teach you the theory. We are platform agnostic. They come here, learn Hadoop, Hadoop will know what do I do. Hey, data comes. Buy them to anywhere, anywhere. I mean, a lot of, I see this in the local newspapers, right? Company up. Hadoop. Or Hadoop. <laughs> but Hadoop. There's one ad that said that. 100 bucks. And I teach you, just, or you book for 30 bucks for crying out loud. It's an open product. You have to do on and you want to get the vocational skill, go to me. Let's come. I'm not fantastic. Right? You want machine learning? Forget egos. MIT, Stanford, they put their courses online. You want talent? You want artificial intelligence? Go take the Stanford online. Do all the assignments. They won't get graded, but you'll learn. It's tough to. In you have the money to pay for school. Why? I'll go back of the class. Learn thing. That's how I learned about learning. for the first. If you go back and look at to the Silicon Valley movie. And you look story, you learn something about learning. I mean, definitely. And it's right, and he did, and what he created for technologists. It's for uh, a learning thing. I, if I could even do like 0.0001% of what he did, I would consider myself the first. Another topic project management. My story. One software engineer at road or out It's software engineer. You don't need project managers. That was my attitude. You know what you can do. Getting a product on the side, kind of a Danish approach. And I made uh, uh, here Anza and uh, we're working with. Uh, Part right? That's me to document failures I had in software engineering project I had worked on at their master's program. This was in 2004 and 2005, and that's when it hit me. Important project management was. So I was documenting the failures as case studies for a software development management program that they teach. And then I decided that I want to teach project management. So that through getting a green program management and now this newfound love, I said, okay, okay, what can so we started the program here at the end. So 2005, we taught the first course. Now we are 20 people that graduate every, there are hundreds of people, of course, taking classes. But calculatory system of an organization. If they are right, people experience people that have some experience, people that have lots of experience are all good. Planning. 
Because what tie the organizations together to certain outcome or specific goal? Right? The rest of the talk about project management, as much as I would like to. I'll put another one later. But project management is the regulatory system of an organization. If an organization is a body, right? You can cover it. You can to create a project. Plan a project, execute, accept team. Many of the things that come out through an it's based approach that we take here at the end. Okay, so talk about enterprise security under vocation, no, right? Under uh, transfer, right? And the security is significant for vocational as well. And the people that teach those courses here, you know, worked with FBI. We shop regularly every quarter, I think, where we, with these folks that have worked with FBI are also teaching for us. Guys, it's a privilege to sit in the class to see what is it. I mean, I'm at the top I mean, hacking the ethical. But, but that's right. It's a topic, right? right? But the uh, important piece of the puzzle is the people teaching that subject, what they and where they have been. You can sit with those guys. And some of them are retired and now teaching with us, right? And I hope they forever. But here, folks, the subject matter, right? Information we can we say, hey, 2016, what are the top 10 jobs, right? So, yeah, talk through each one of those. But one thing I did in the last talk that uh, was done on trends in emerging technologies was compiling this slide. I pasted this for you guys. To show you guys here, well, all the courses that we have for the different jobs. It provides you a map thing. That's why I'm thinking of this kind of job. job now, offering certificates in each, in each job type, we cannot. Why? Because you know, the certificates will expire before they'll be approved. It takes a while to uh, get them approved. Approach in designing the program is in that state, focusing on concepts and cases that have a shelf life. So, if once a year, if we if it was taught many times in a year, that have a following that it will be meaningful, very easy to process. But the approach that the department takes on longevity and long shelf life and being we have like Oracle in our competitive strategy. We let others make a mistake and say, okay, this is what we will do. Pretty well. I thought I put this slide. I, I, I could put this topic. The slide is just out of order. All of each one of these links gives you the certificate. Okay? Look for the 2016 version, or right? Now get to what you what you can do. So I've got a few minutes on that. So you can position yourself. So how you position yourself? You write a resume, right? How do you may you write one that fits all? No. This job, yeah. But the why? About your experience? No. Do that. How can you have polymorphism? In writing, how can you be creative? My job description, that's very authentic. Don't copy the job description that was given to you because you look at what you did. Now you can then. You have detailed description of what you did at a workplace, in your own words. Words 
make sure other people can understand what you are writing. Support for what you are writing. Somebody can work if, if you can, because sometimes you are under non disclosures and you cannot. I'm talking about portfolios. The work is that you have done in, like, you know, the advanced Java folks, you are building a kbb.com type app. Right? Show off that. The lessons learned. Tell people what you learned in the course. Because these things that come together, when you put yourself in detail like that, provides you a starting point for getting the attention of the hiring manager. Now, post resume on a job site on the planet. Monster Craigslist guys. No. In my opinion, you're desperate for a, finding a job. No, delete. Let me talk to you. Have a profile. Have a website. Right? And don't follow the crowd. The crowd doing. They go to the job site. Go to me. Check, check. Apply 300 jobs. And the loud ones. Today I applied for 300 jobs. I'm not getting any response. Why are you? Pop that. Nobody. It's like I send you guys, right? right? If you show up, it's like, like that. What do you do? Right? You build a file. You also have a social proof. For when you make sure your Facebook profile is private. See, today I'm looking at everything about you. You have five virtual networks and 500 accounts, right? Applications that allow me to search you and question about you. you. You express interest on what is that, pin interest? Or different interest, please. Hello? Yes, hyphen. Interest. You post something, right? And the high manager doesn't like it. Guess what? Oh, you don't get a post, right? Wow. So you want to direct it and public at the same time. If you're on be with friends, public files work. I'm interested in Java. I'll blog, write an article about that. I'm in big data. I'll join some meetup. Meetup.com? Put your join meetup. And don't be part of the meetups that are, that don't seem professional. That are your interest for the job that you're finding. Then you'll start creating a Network. And then when you find somebody, have a business card. I mean, three business cards these days, 100 of them, right, for nothing, or five bucks, or two bucks. The thing of the relationship, make a connection. And check your profile out, right? So here is a like different approach for applying. Venture like that. You say, I'll create a profile and I'll apply for a job. What Venture Loop has is blogs from all the startups. So I that money. You got a little hard. Venture give you some sites uh, where, or some companies, job your interest. Is one step further. What you guys can do is go to that website, look at India, what companies got funded last quarter and previous quarter, and what round of fund. Then to each website and say, hey, what happened, whether you can apply. And when you apply, the cover letter. And there was a resume that is tailored, right? What I was talking about is when you have a well written uh, resume, you can select the area as. 
can capture attention. How much time is the hiring manager spending on reading your resume? Right. What? 30 seconds. On a page. They can do that? I don't think so. It's the things that involve bold. So the things in bold that you want to draw attention to. Right? I'm looking for SQL, big data, Hadoop, those things are in bold. We're looking at the job description, those things in bold. And if there are experience elements, put those in bold. Or it's well written though. Yes. And you're making me work hard. And work hard it costs you. Which means they will probably go on the other path. Very important, right? And simple. Don't start making getting fancy on resume formatting. Use this on, or I'll use this elegant font. No, keep it very simple. Especially software folks, do your font. Thank you, information. If you're a for no objectives. And objectives that are so flawed. I have a job that will take my skills and apply it for a role. I'm a manager to figure out what the skills are and the role. Make me work. Thank you. I'm looking at differentiate yourself. So there's a nice story about a woman that applied for a job and she got the attention of the This was on the social media, so I'm sure you guys have seen it. Found the flaws that that company had. In person, by the way. Right. And then down to the CEO, she writes her to the CEO and says, This company has the following, your company has the following flaws. This, if you me, this is what I can do. The person should do that, but what I'm saying is differentiate Right? Somebody has the time to write a cover letter. And these cutters aren't ignored. But should be, there should be substance. Substance comes from your and you have to on those. Right? If this approach is taken, in my opinion, and I did this for the last 15 years, because venture has been around and PwC Money Tree has been around. And we have trying to merging technologies of times in this institution. Feedback I've received from folks that have done this that it's hard work, you apply in job and you, you get some response. Versus the resume in the ether. It makes a resume scanner and if you get lucky you will find something. Just some ideas. Are there questions? For internships, don't know of any. This is another place, right? Where every college is not going to have a career office. It's not have a pathway to job. You come in, your leader comes in for yourself, and you hunt. You hunt, and if it isn't a job, sometimes they create a job for you. Don't know this is for free though. No, no, not all. my opinion, and I said no liability insurance, remember? But you know, position yourself. Get, I mean, 10 or 15 bucks an hour is minimum wage. You should have. What? Okay. Give up. All work. Fine. Yes. Yeah. He's saying that 
you have the job description and highlight, uh, you know, uh, an M2N mapping. That's not what I'm saying. But the idea is that what they are looking for, right, and then qualify in your resume, plus a cover letter. Then you get a in. Then you, but if you're in heart and, and you're being, if I can say, lazy, you're applying to 500 jobs with with hopes of some return, not going to happen. Some jobs and you're not getting the attention, get them reviewed by somebody. I do this all the time. It takes five minutes. I'll give you feedback and say, do this, that. I'm happy. Hopes it, right? I'm happy to do that. I'm happy to do that for you, you guys. You know, write some insight. I don't get insight from one person. You get insight from multiple people. That's what meet up for also. They say, hey, would you look at my resume? Would you actually hire me for this kind of job? Not that. Right? So, this is the end, but there is also have some slides on leadership. Not in any right. It's a function of teaching management over the years and coming up with a great idea. Right. I think one of our colleagues, Ron, had given a talk on object-oriented design a few days back. Right. In our object-oriented programming course, listening to his talk, I was thinking about what I do. The idea of pattern emerges as work for thinking. Because an experience here, an experience there, right? Life becomes object oriented. That's how and that's how I even talk about it in my own way. So when when these very of experiences come together, patterns emerge. And those patterns create newer patterns. One of those patterns. So these are that you can do for yourself to positioning. These sites are long lived and are, they've been around for 15 years. They're, they're across. If I was applying for a job today, I would, would go there. Right? Not social networks like LinkedIn are very respectful. So, this with um, 